Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Ostriv. This is uh, Tri-Town Alpha. Now, uh, I have uh, come to the conclusion that uh, I've pretty much reached the uh, limit of uh, what my uh, computer can keep up with here. Uh, if I put it on uh, ultra-fast uh, forward, uh, the, um, uh, the citizens get stuck for a really long time when they need to change what they're doing. So, uh, like we're talking 10, 15 seconds, which is like uh, days. Uh, but if I'm running on the uh, middle speed, they don't seem to have so much trouble. So, uh, I'm basically running to the limit. Now, uh, I really should... Uh, probably package this save game up and send it to Yev so he can uh, investigate possible ways to improve that. But in the meantime, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this part here. Now what I've done is I've wound the clock forward a bit. Uh, so I've built a warehouse up here with building supplies, which should help the builders up here, theoretically. Um, and of course, I still have the houses going and we've got uh, now the population has gone up a little bit, but not through migration. Uh, as these new houses here have gone up, uh, local families have moved in and a couple of uh, nonogenarians or something like that have uh, passed on. So. Uh, so we're, uh, we're you know, and, and quite frankly, this is quite an impressive uh, size for a uh, village, right? Uh, or a town. So uh, I'm not particularly annoyed, but I really wanted to uh, see about getting chickens online. But with the uh, with the lag and everything that's uh, going on, I don't think I'm going to. Now, uh, I do like uh, Ostriv. You know, I kind of like uh, playing it. Uh, it's I find it kind of relaxing and that's the uh, the music is a large part of that actually um, but uh, it does get to a point like here where it's a whole bunch of busy work uh, basically waiting for things to happen and uh, if you have to do that on the slow or regular speed it takes freaking forever now that's not a criticism of the game uh, it's just how things are, right? Now, let's see. Um, I'm going to uh, hire all the builders. Okay. Now, I fired several of the workers in the... A couple of the workers in the smithy. Uh, because they're not needed to keep up with the demand for nails and metal parts. So, there's that. Now, in here, we have the uh, graveyard, right? Whoops. Um... So here we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plots that are available. Uh, I think it's time to put another row of plots in there. Uh, and I think that'll be the last row of plots uh, that we put in. And then uh, if, uh, if it gets to the point of uh, needing... Uh, more, uh, then we build another graveyard, right? Four, five, see there's even a lag after uh, building a thing, so seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12. There we go. Okay, so that's plenty of uh, burial plots for quite a while yet. Uh, now we can have uh, a score of people pass on and we won't have to worry too much about it. Now this here uh, house is uh, going up, so uh, we still I still have migration turned off. So we'll see if this house fills up immediately when it is completed. See, see that pause there? Uh, if I had it on uh, uh, ultra turbo mode, those pauses tend to be a lot longer. 
which means you lose a lot more time. And if I drop it down to uh, slow speed, then I end up with a much, uh, then I end up with less of a impact from that. So I clearly need a faster computer and or a uh, uh, some optimization in the game. Okay, so uh, yep, we uh, we have someone moving in from locally right away. Now this one is okay. Now we're gonna build over here. Uh, so this one is was occupied immediately, so we do have latent internal demand. Uh, that I think I mentioned last time. That's something I would actually love to uh, to see uh, 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 shown somewhere. Uh, that said, uh, you know, building a bunch of houses is uh, not that big of a deal. Now, uh, as I said, the uh, this is uh, getting to the limit of what my uh, computer can handle reasonably. So uh, I think uh, realistically, uh, I'm going to have to uh, at least temporarily abandon this save game. Now I'll try and keep it around, of course, because if the, uh, the game uh, uh, improves performance, like on the next patch, I'll uh, load it up and see how it does, something like that. But... Uh, you know, just uh, having to wait for so much to happen, I think, is, um, well, it's inconvenient. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, so, uh, now, you lot who uh, watch these videos, you seem to like the Oster of Ones. Uh, you know, compared to, uh, say, Surviving Mars or something like that. Uh now I'm uh, I'm pondering uh, what to do. I'm thinking I'm going to give Ostrov a break, maybe for a couple of weeks, maybe a little bit longer, and then maybe uh, maybe start up a new uh, a new game. Now I'm what I'm uh, pondering is uh, whether I wait until Yev releases his next patch. You know the next alpha or something like that or uh, if I start another game before that as as you recall uh, I started this one because my previous save was no longer um, good because uh, it didn't have stone right there was no stone on the map and therefore I couldn't I wouldn't have been able to grow the population I think it was stone anyway uh, and that was uh, naturally uh, a, a little bit of a of a problem, right? Uh, because it was started before the stone stuff was even there, right? Uh, or there was something else on on the map that uh, that wasn't there that that was necessary. So I uh, so I ended up starting this game to uh, get a clean slate. And, uh, you know, that that was a good call, I think. Uh, so I kind of want to avoid uh, starting up a uh, new game and then having to abandon it because of something on the uh, map or something like that. Now, instead, I, you know, I, I'm toying with uh, starting a new game on, uh, I think, I think Yev in the last patch uh, or so, I think there was a new map. Uh, Maybe I'll try it on a different map or something like that. Uh, but I'm going to give it a break for a week or two or three or, or a month or so or, or whatever and just see. See how things go uh, with the development and then I'll probably come back. In the meantime, I'm going to uh, try and run through uh, to the end of the Surviving Mars series. Uh, the 1075 difficulty either get it to the point where it's definitely won or it's definitely failed uh, and uh, yeah, you know it's not clear where that's at just yet so uh, I, I think I'll run it uh, I'll run two episodes of of surviving Mars uh, for the next couple of weeks uh, just to uh, power through some of that because I'm sure it's uh, getting tedious for the one or two people that watch it uh, unfortunately, that means you don't get to see Ostrov for uh, for a, for a little while, and you know I think I need to I need to give it a break and recharge anyway. So 
Um, yeah, maybe I can uh, start out a new game afterward and not screw up so big time like I did near early on in this one, right? Um, anyway, it's uh, it is what it is. Um, okay, what's the messenger have here? Um, sunflower oil. Um, no. Let's sell some charcoal. Um, buckwheat. Yeah, we'll sell that. Shoes. We'll sell that. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, we, we got a house, and it's already occupied. So, um, yeah. Uh, we uh, definitely have a demand for housing in the uh, town, so... What's with that? Um, okay, yeah. So, uh, realistically, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, I'll, maybe I'll, uh, you know, if I, if I, if I get bored at some point, maybe I'll try running this forward a little bit longer, get the housing built, and then see how well it stabilizes. At the very least, I've got enough, uh, labor here to, uh, to cover off, uh, a fair chunk of, uh, of the stuff that's uh, caused issues, right? Uh, you know, like with the harvest. So, uh, yeah. Uh, what are you? Potato. Hemp. Wheat. Hemp. Sunflowers. 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 Okay, so I'm going to have a bunch of sunflowers come in. Uh, good. Um, right. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, since I, I really can't play this faster th on faster than mid speed now, uh, it takes a long time to make any progress through anything. Uh, and that's, uh, that's something I want to, uh, I want to avoid the tedium, right? Uh, it's not so, not so great for the viewers, uh, for, for you guys watching to have the, uh, the tedium, right? Uh, so, uh, you know, like it's okay to uh, to ha to be watching the uh, micromanagement stuff and so on, but the tedium of uh, just waiting for things to happen—that's not so ideal, really. So, yeah, that's uh, that's where things stand. Um, anyway. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm pretty sure that I, I can probably I'm, I'm pretty sure with these houses built I would be able to get enough uh, labor to uh, actually run a, a chicken coop uh, which I don't have yet so uh, not reliably uh, last winter I even had some cows die of thirst right so um, so that's uh, that's a major thing, right? Uh, and that was due to lack of labor, uh, and possibly due to the uh, stalling as the uh, the workers waited at the field entrances or something like that, right? Um, yeah. Anyway, um, so that's that's the idea. Uh, I want to uh, I want to uh, see if uh, see what the next update for Ostriff has. Uh, so uh, you know, like really, I, I want to see if maybe a new patch appears soonish, uh, and then uh, and then see see what happens there. You know, start a new game with that. Uh, I might. Uh, uh, you know, like I said, I was saying I, I might uh, chuck Surviving Mars in for a couple of extra episodes. And, you know, I might do that. But I might chuck in uh, Transport Fever 2 uh, for a couple of extra episodes. Uh, mostly because it's, uh, 
it's a new game and stuff is going and uh, yeah there there's uh, stuff to do in there yeah see all that pausing you know like you wouldn't see that early in the game um, right So this house, when it finishes, the question will then be, um, what uh, uh, what do we get here? Well, like, well, will a family move in immediately? So that is a uh, real uh, question. Uh, but this is basically where it's at, right? There's a whole bunch of construction going on that's going to take a month of uh, Sundays. So. Uh, I think maybe uh, what I would do, if I do continue this, uh, I'll uh, let the game run, uh, finish building this massive build queue of houses, and then see, and then maybe, maybe I'll do one more episode down the road a bit where I get the chickens, uh, chicken harvesting and so on running, just because. Uh, I'll have to see, but I don't think it's going to work particularly well. Um, yeah. Okay, we're uh, we're up to here. Oh yeah, it's uh, just about uh, just about done. Uh, okay, there we go. Village house moved in immediately. Okay. And no, they're not starving. See? They just had to get food. Um, what's in the uh, stall here? Oh yeah, we got stuff in the stall there. Um, let's uh, replace this with potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Um, right. Now, um... So there's two more houses and then a weaver's shop. Uh, so let's take a look here. Um, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, we're uh, definitely behind on a whole bunch of uh, stuff in the production. So uh, yeah. Oh, we're harvesting. Uh, right. Uh, and I think I'll, I'll stick with these uh, with smaller size fields in the future. Uh, the experiment over here with the big fields, uh, they just, uh, they take too long to process, really. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, there's that. And uh, you know, that said, uh, although I suppose I could get away with uh, a smaller number of bigger fields, eh, I might experiment with that the next time around. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, whatever I do, uh, it's definitely a... Uh, It's definitely a uh, wait and see type thing, um, right? So anyway, uh, uh, I had a thought and now I don't. Oh well, uh, yeah. Well, you've never been known for having good thoughts. You sure about that now? Yeah, I'm reasonably sure. Um, okay, well if you say so. Um, okay, we're up to four. See, the population is growing, th so I think, I think this town has gone self-sufficient, population-wise. I think we've gone self-sufficient. That's interesting. Um, okay, so we've got some old people in here. Let's just, uh... 
Look through here. 75. They're old people. Old people. Old people. With a 14-year-old. Uh... Old people. They have lots of kids. Old people. Really old people. So I would expect Grandma here to pass on soonish. And these two. Uh... Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, so there's a bunch of old people that are likely to pass on soonish. So that'll start freeing up houses as well. Uh,. Yeah, this one's going to pass on soon. Probably. Oh, there's lots of children. That's kind of a good sign. There's quite a few old, older folks as well. From the early settlers. Whoa, whoa, hello. How does that even work? I think there needs to be some age checks on... Uh, when the uh, when they can have kids okay there's another elderly uh, group um, right okay we got some other youngins coming up that are gonna need houses so yeah whoa so this one So she was 51 when she gave... <laughs> yeah, interesting. Oh, this guy, when he passes on, a house will become available. Right? Whoa, look at that. 103. Wow. These, these two never moved out. Wow. 103. I think that's the oldest we've got so far. Okay, let's take a look down here. Yeah, we've got a few old uh, families here. Well, there's somebody that's going to want to move out. Okay, let's take a look down here. That's a young family. Okay. Okay, yeah, that group is doing okay. What have we got here? 80. Uh, okay. 91. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, I'm just clicking through these just to see what the uh, families... Uh, you know, that's a big group. And they're not broke either. Okay. Yeah, the ones with the, uh, like, grandparents in, in there are, uh, original settlers, right? The ones that are, like, 20 or something like that are kids that moved out while they were in the town or, uh, 1748, or were born here. Uh, right. Well, that's a big family. Um, oh, somebody died of old age. It was 74. No. It was old, anyway. Um, okay. Well, you know, I don't need stone miners. Uh, right. Uh, okay, so you, right? Whoops. Okay, that one's going to start going up. Okay, so that one's going to go up, and we'll find out if, again, we have latent demand or the house stays empty for a bit. Um, right, so that was uh, a tour through the, the uh, residents here. These are all people that have moved in locally, right? Whoops. And they've, they're even having children, so that's, uh, that's kind of good. Uh, okay, so uh, I wonder if I wonder how possible it is now that I think about it, like how well it would work to uh, start with the nine families that that you start with and uh, not allow in migration. I, I wonder how well that would go uh, now that I think about it. I wonder how hard that would be to uh, keep operating. Well, that'd be a challenge. That'd be quite a challenge, I think. Yeah, there's there's some guys on the uh, on the forums that are doing things like that. I wonder. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that could be interesting. You know, there's another game I might uh, slot in instead of uh, instead of Austria for a couple of uh, weeks, and that might be uh, Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Uh, that one's uh, kind of a interesting uh, idea. I'm not sure. I think I need to play with it a little bit more. Wait for the next next patch level to come out before doing much with it. I think. Uh, I need to get a little better at it, right? Uh, right, so we're about halfway done building that house. Uh, okay, this is the one that, that passed on 1678 to 1748. So, so 70 years. 54 to, to 48. Uh, 90 some. Uh, okay. 1646. 97, huh? 
Uh, yeah. Let's see if we can find a a centenarian in here somewhere. Fifty-eight to forty-two, sixty-eight, fifty-seven to forty-one, forty-eight to forty, a nono genarian. Uh, that one was 80. Oh, the, the, whoops. Um, let's take a look here. Yep, family, uh, settled immediately. So definitely there's, uh, there's some demand there. Uh, 46 to 34. No, there's no centenarians in here. Huh. Couple nonogenarians, some octogenarians. Yeah. So it looks like uh, the way the game operates, there's a percentage chance. Uh, there's a chance of dying that goes up with age, obviously, uh, for the old age uh, thing. Uh, where is this being built? Okay, we don't have textiles, so, you know, that's kind of pointless. But I'll let it get built anyway. Um, well, it looks like we got the harvest off this year, so that's good. Now, um, hemp. We have lots of hemp, so... Yeah, we, I needed to make more uh, textiles. That's the, uh, that, that's why I was building that, right. Um, okay, so that needs to finish. Um, right. Resources are arriving. Uh, right. Okay, that should be... Yeah, okay. So, so far so good. Uh, that will go online. I'll staff it and, uh... We'll get more weaving going on because we have the hemp to do it, and then uh, then it should, uh, yeah, that that should be fine. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I will do. Uh, I'll uh, I'll think about it, and uh, next uh, next week, uh, next Friday, I'll be back with uh, uh, a fill a fill in with uh, surviving Mars. Uh, just because I want to uh, get that progressed a little further. And then the week after, it's a toss-up yet, uh, what I'll do. Uh, I might just sit back and let this run for a bit and uh, come back with a uh, highlights reel or something like that for the, the next, you know, couple, three weeks from now or something. I'm not entirely sure. But next week, next Friday, we'll definitely be surviving Mars. And then uh, maybe I'll come back with another episode of this, just to see. Uh, but I definitely won't be... Uh, I think I won't be running this uh, real-time anymore on this this save. Because there's not much we can do. Um, you know, yeah, we looked at all of this stuff here, right? And 
You know, we've looked at everything we can look at, so really, there's not much more we can do. So I'm going to wait for this uh, this weaver to uh, complete, and then I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, you know staff it, uh, get production underway, and then uh, then from there I, I w I'll go ahead and uh, probably end the episode. And then you can look forward to probably, I'll probably come back to this one at some point. Uh, but I'm going to have to have a time, a, uh, you know, like, uh, some time where I can just let the game sit there and run for a while. And uh, just churn through a bunch of stuff and maybe come back and do a, hey, see where we're at. And, uh, you know, take a look at everything. Yeah, I think that's where uh, where it'll end up. So, um, yeah. Odds are pretty good, though. Um, it's just going to look exactly like this. Like, maybe I'll come back when this build queue is done and this population is uh, stabilized a bit higher and, uh, you know, the export stuff is restocked. Um, you know, uh, well, that's stocked. Um, oh, everything's restocked. Uh, let's go in here. Uh, sunflower oil, we'll sell that. Clothes, we have a thousand we can export. Let's do that. Deal. Um, we're not exporting potatoes. We can export flour. Yeah, let's do the flour. Um, I have leather I can export as well, so we'll do a deal on that. Uh, okay, so that'll uh, keep the uh, town solvent for quite a bit longer. Um, okay, so this is just about done now. Um, okay, so we'll go in here. No, nope. we'll go in here and we'll allow supply by uh, cart. We'll hire a bunch of workers. We'll max, max out everything and uh, yeah. Yeah, that's about what we need to do. So, uh, okay, so that's uh, that's running now. Uh, now it's just houses in the queue. Uh, okay, up here we got a row. Okay, yeah. Uh, right. Okay, so that's going to be it for for uh, for this series for a while, at the very least. Uh, and then I'll be back with, uh, as I said, next week we'll be surviving Mars. The week after that, I'm not sure. Uh, it may be surviving Mars. It may be something else. Uh, but I think I'm going to uh, leave off with Austria probably until October. So uh, just as a, a fair, fair warning there. Anyway, uh, that's all, uh, I guess. So uh, stay healthy. Don't let the on ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And I guess see you back with another game next week.